Let's learn three basic elements of ballroom dance. So what are those elements? So number one is a box step, number two is a triple step, and number three is a rock step. Knowing those elements, you can do almost any ballroom dance. So let's start learning box step. For simplicity, let's use our left leg all the time. So we're going forward, then with the right leg side, together. Then we have back, side, together. And already most common mistake is when people going forward side together here sometimes we forget to change body weight so make sure your weight is changed and you don't step with the same foot two times so this is your famous box step element number one and we can do it together with our partner now how to get into the close position so my arm going around my partners and stay on her shoulder blade and my left arm connects with her right arm we have a little bit space between each other and now we can dance together. So if I step with my left, my partner will go with the right back. So go forward, side, together, back, side, together. So now we're dancing box step together. And this is already two dances. If we add a little bit rise and fall, dancing box step, we're dancing waltz. Now if we change slightly the feel of this box step, and use bending and straightening of our knee, hip action and body action, we are dancing rumba. So ready two dances by dancing box step alone. So let's go to element number two, which is a triple step. And of course, let's always start with the left leg. So we have step number one, step number two, step number three, and change weight at the end. So we have a three pole step. So three steps totally, triple step. Now, triple step alone, it could be already dance, which is called polka. So it looks like this. So you go triple step, triple step, triple step. Tri also, we can take it around, dancing same, triple step. So triple step alone, it already could be a dance. So this was element number two. Now, element number three, it's going to be rock step. So again, we're going to start with our left leg. So we're stepping back, rocking, and replace our weight. So rocking back, front. So as we front, you see our weight is totally on the front leg. When we back, our weight totally on the back, and we're just rocking between feet. Rock, step, rock, step. So this is element number three, rock, step. So for example, we can do rock, step, and intercombine those elements together, we can do different dances. So if we combine rock step together with the triple step and with another triple step, we have a swing. So let's take a look. So we have a rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step. So this is already then swing. If we start with the triple step, then we will lead our partner to rock step front then another triple step, and we repeat, rock step back, rock step front, we have a cha-cha. So just by combining those elements together in different way, we can produce a different dances. So what is also very important is not only study those three elements of dance, but also combine them with the walks. And number one exercise what we should learn is how to walk together with the partner. So we get into close position, you don't want to be too far, you want to be quite close, and we learn how to walk together. So as I'm moving with my left leg forward, my partner is going to move with the right leg back. So in this case, we will never step on each other, and we're just doing a regular walk. So, and I strongly recommend doing this exercise with your partner. We can move in the circle, in a line of dance, okay? Also, I can move backward, and my partner moving forward. So in this case, you see, if we're moving with the correct leg, we will never step on each other. The only way I step on my partner, if in this case, I'll step with my other foot. So when we stay close, she can feel through my leg movement from which leg I'm moving. Therefore, we can always be in connection with each other. Now, if we combine simply walks together, when we walk together, we're going walk, walk, side together we have another dance which is called fox trot so it's nothing else is a combination as two walks back 
side together. So this is foxtrot, walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together, walk, walk, side together. And when you study all these three elements in combination with the walks, you can do way, way, way more dances, more than 20 different dances. Follow for more and enjoy. <laughs>